Uh, Psychodama asks, I wonder if there'll be a penalty for rage quit. It's always a hard thing to pe penalize rage quits because you can't tell the difference between rage quits and uh, accidental disconnects, really. Uh, and then also, not only that, but one of the problems then is that... Um, um, there's just, there's always a way to take advantage of it. It's, it's really hard. Like trying to punish rage quits is a science unto itself. Uh, if you guys don't remember that in Killer Instinct, they tried to punish it by if you ended up uh, having a lot of disconnections, then you would get put into a jail you, where you could only fight other people who were in jail. Well, the problem was, was that strong players got rage quit on a lot because they were really good. And because they got rage quit on consistently by different people, it looked like they were the rage quitter and they got put in jail for being too good at the game. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh so that was the issue. I mean, punishing people who have legit problems is, is a legit thing. Like, yeah, look, your connection sucks, buddy. Get a better connection, but still. Uh, but no, Capcom doesn't know which end disconnects. That's the hardest thing, skillet cornbread. So the way that it works is that you talk to their server, and their server goes, hmm, who do I want to pair you up with? You. Okay, I found someone. I'm going to pair you guys up. Please talk to each other. Go away. And it doesn't remember you guys exist. All it knows is that it set up a match between two players. Now the two players are peer-to-peer -peer connection. They're talking to each other. They're fighting against each other. And then one of them dies. There's really no way for Capcom to really know which one of you guys died, right? What if the guy disconnects and reconnects really fast, right? Kills the connection, plugs it back in. And then the Capcom server goes, oh, shoot, this match died prematurely. Who's still online? And it checks, and they're both still online. Who do you, who do you punish? <laughs> so this is, the, this is the logic that all these fighting games have to try to, 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 to fight against. It's really, really hard to deal with this kind of thing. So, again, you are not talking to their servers the entire time. If that was the case, their servers would instantly die because there are thousands of matches happening at the same time. They cannot bog their servers down by having everybody playing fighting games and having their server keeping a constant connection with every single one of them to see what the hell is going on. So once it figures out the match and sends you guys off, those two connect peer to peer and talk to each other directly. And so now Capcom has no idea what's going on and can only rely on post-match information. And like I said, it's very easy to install a kill switch off, match goes away, turn it back on. And now what happens at that point? We don't really know. So, uh... I mean, again, you could read which server side lost the... You could read which side server lost the... Again, it's it's too hard to determine. It's really, really hard. <laughs> it's really hard, so... They did include a vote to forfeit option for both players. Yeah, they did that for bad connections. You both can hold the start button early in the match, and if you both hold that... It's hold some button, you'll just quit out automatically. But again, now both players will send a, hey, we agreed to quit message back to them, and it can actually uh, process that, right? When it's a disconnect, it's really hard to know because that's the thing, is that a disconnect can happen anywhere in the peer-to-peer -peer connection, right? right? Even if one guy intentionally disconnects and connects, how does the game really know it's because it happened here or it happened somewhere else? Because frankly, if you install the kill, if you just unplug your modem and plug it back in, right? The console doesn't know that it died at the modem. The console has no idea that the connection died at the modem. It just knows that it died somewhere on the road, <laughs> Like, it, it can't talk to the modem. If I unplug my modem and plug it back in, the console has zero idea where that disconnect happened. It could have happened because the other guy unplugged his modem. It could have happened because this guy unplugged their modem. There's really no information to be discerned about it. So it's very difficult 
uh, to do that. Um, how does the pro players go to jail if they're not quitting? Because, like I said, they can't tell who's disconnecting. So if I'm really, really good at KI and I play you and you rage quit on me, I get a strike as you played an unfinished match. That's all it knows. That's all it knows. And then I play another guy, a different guy, and they disconnect on me because I'm too good. They both now, those two players have one disconnects. I have two disconnects now. I play a third person. I blow the crap out of that third person. He disconnects on me. All three players have one disconnect. I have three disconnects now. I play a fourth person. I blow them out of the water. They rage quit on me, etc., etc., etc. And so now the pro player who got rage quit on 10 times by 10 different people has 10 disconnects while everybody else has one disconnects. So the game is going to go, you go to jail. You have 10 disconnects. You're pulling on everybody. Your pattern is that you quit on people all the time. That's the problem. It's not as big of a problem as Street Fighter V. It still happens. And when it happens, I laugh because if I get someone to rage quit, I feel like I win extra. <laughs> I feel like I win extra when I get people to rage quit on me. So I don't, I don't care that I don't get my points. I feel good about it. So uh, rage quitters versus Dodgers. I mean, it's all kind of the same thing. It's all kind of the same thing to be any, anyway. Uh, easy. Whoever's in the life league gets the win and not the black mark against their account. Pollock Games. What's going to stop me then from getting a life lead and pulling? Every single time. Yeah, again, the whole rage quitting thing, the reason why nobody has solved it yet is because logistically, it's a nightmare to solve. It is very, very difficult to solve. If there was a good logical way to solve it, some smart dude out there would have figured it out already. <laughs> there are a lot of ridiculously smart people out there. <laughs> So the fact that it hasn't been solved yet is uh, definitely uh, a sign of what the difficulty involved in fixing rage quits. So CSGO gay vulture, the reason why gay, uh, uh, CSGO is a completely different situation is because CSGO is a team game. Same thing with League of Legends. In other words, in those games, you are connected to the server at all times because the server knows the master state of the game because it has to deal with 10 people. There's no such thing as peer to peer with 10 people because that's peer to 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 peer and it just doesn't work. So all of the games are connected to a central server for CSGO. And so, uh, wait, is For Honor peer-to-peer-to-peer? -to -peer -to -peer? Well, okay, not as many. <laughs> not as many, right? It's not like 10 people or 8 people like CSGO or uh, League of Legends, right? So there's a lot more people. And so the server is keeping track of it. Now, how do they keep track of thousands of connections when I said Capcom can't do that? Riot has a lot more money. <laughs> Blizzard has a lot more money. <laughs> they have a lot more servers than Capcom does. So Capcom, if Capcom wanted to build and set up server farms everywhere so that it kept track of every match and the state of the match and all you're doing was sending inputs to them, kind of like how Parsec works, they could do that. It's just very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. So when Project L says that they have a way to maybe even make the rollback netcode even better, that's kind of what they're talking about. They have Riot servers to take advantage of. They have the infrastructure to take advantage of. R Project L may actually legit be able to check to see who rage quits, etc., etc. So...